Hello guys, Mr. Dynaman2050 here, welcome to another video, and in today's video guys I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your graphic card, or as you may know it, a GPU. Now overclocking, overclocking graphic cards guys allows you to get better frame rates in games and things like that. So in today's quick video guys, it's going to be about 4 or 5 minutes long, I'm going to show you how to overclock a graphic card, because it's relatively simple and only, only really requires a small part, well a small bit of software. Now since I have an MSI graphic card, I have gone and got the MSI Afterburner. This is a piece of software here which allows you to overclock a graphic card. Now quite frankly, whatever graphic card you have, you can use the MSI Afterburner. Um, there are other things like the, um, like, um, say EVGA, they have the Precision X software. To be honest, it's all based on this. Uh, this is the River Tuner software, but it just, what the manufacturers do like MSI, EVGA, they just kind of skin the program. So this program is basically uh, the River Tuner, but it's just disguised as the MSI, because they've kind of bought some license to skin it. Anyway, in terms of overclocking your graphic card, so as you can see, mine's a GeForce GTX 760, and an MSI one with the actual uh, blower type fan. Uh, so all, all my hot air goes to, goes out of the back of the case, not in the case like most coolers are, I suppose. Um, so first of all, guys, to overclock, you just want to have a look at your current temperature. So my current temperature, the current temperature of my GPU is 26 degrees, which has gone down from 27. Um, note the power, the GPU usage, and the fan speed. You might also want to look at stuff such as the, um, the actual fan reader, the core, and the memory clock and also the memory usage. Now, the main thing to look at, guys, is the GPU temperature. And if you go on to your actual, well, if you go onto GeForce's website and type in your graphic card, you'll be able to see the maximum temperature uh, your graphic card is able to kind of have until it, you know, starts melting or just something like that. So all graphic cards have a maximum. The maximum on this graphic card that I've got, the GeForce GTX 760, is about 98 degrees. And I like to keep graphic cards under just about under about 20 degrees from that, um, so that's kind of a nice temperature. Because as you know, guys, heat does kill computer components, including stuff like hard drives and RAM and stuff like that. So, in terms of overclocking, the first thing to do is always, you know, what you want to do is um, increase the core clock. So the core clock currently is. Let's just have a look. Is 135. The actual core clock on this is over a thousand, but that's just what it is currently, I suppose. Um, so. What I'm, going to be, what I'm going to be doing is just increasing the core clock. So as you can see here, look, the core clock has been increased by about 38 megahertz. And I'm going to up that by about 100. I then click apply. So it's also still working, it's still alive. And I'm going to increase the memory clock. So this is increasing the actual frequency the actual card runs at. So I've increased both of them by just over 100. Now one thing you want to use to actually test if it's stable guys is, is the combustor. This combustor does come with the MSI Afterburner program. And this will run a benchmark which is pretty um, GPU intensive. And as you can see look, the GPU temp is 40 degrees, uh, it's 50 degrees now, 51 degrees, 52 degrees, 53 degrees. And it really does, that temperature will keep rising. Now I'm just going to move that to the right hand side. That's still running in the background, it's still going to make the GPU get nice and hot and everything. But as you can see, look, you actually got so my core clock. You can tell what it is. It's one thousand two hundred and forty-one, and then you can also see um, the memory clock is three thousand one hundred and twenty-one. Now, if you go to the top, you'll notice the temperature. The temperature's gone from twenty degrees, um, you know, all the way to fifty, all the way to sixty. It's actually at sixty-seven degrees right now, and uh, it's getting quite hot. So let's kind of see what temperature that gets to. As you can see, look, the fan speed it is uh, increasing itself automatically. Uh, I can actually hear my PC getting louder. That that's the GPU itself. So as you can see, uh, right about 72 degrees. Uh, if I just bring this back, you can see here as well that the that actual temperature is increasing. And uh, yeah, so what you want, what you might want to do, guys, um, once you've kind of established that it's stable and it's not uh, going to exactly get to the 100 degree point anytime soon, you can increase the actual. Uh, core clock and also the memory clock a little bit more because these are the two factors that do give you more frame rate um, more frame rate, some, some more frames in games which makes you uh, happy so <laughs> we're just going to say that so as you can see this is maxing off around 77 to 78 degrees and I believe I can push that a little bit further so as you can see look on here we're getting um, 83 frames per second 81, 84, 88 
85, 80. So we're gonna, so, so we're just gonna say we get about 82 frames per second. Smart, it's gone back to 87 now. So you, you get the gist. Now this is this is averaged off about 78 degrees. You can increase your fan speed if you want to, but you know your PC is gonna get more loud. So um, yeah, what I'm gonna do is actually increase the core clock a little bit more, and then the memory clock a little bit more. Uh, now I know these are, are very good overclocks. So if I just click apply. As you can see, we're getting miles better frame rates now. Um, it's quite hard to tell in terms of just using this because in-game performance is going to differ a lot. But um, uh, for, the, for this guide, uh, I know that um, to actually overclock about 150 megahertz on both the core and the memory clock is a good and stable overclock for this car. So if you have the same car as me, you know, feel free to uh, to use these settings. But uh, that, guys, is how you overclock a GPU. It's relatively simple and a little bit easier than overclocking a CPU with an unlocked multiplier. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments or email me. That's in the description. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe. Cheers.